today we are going to attempt Daniel Balud's Hatches Parmentier. Today we're going to try it. Starting with two pounds of ribeyes. These were two really pretty steaks. You can see we've made them not steaks. Celery stalks, three of them. Two parsnips, onions, three cloves of garlic, some wine. The potatoes are for the topping. The rosemary. We're taking our wine. Two, two and a half. Gallon plastic bag. That goes into the refrigerator for three hours. Prep all of our other veggies. These all get diced up into a half inch dice. That is what we want. You can see some browning has started to happen. When this is done, I'm going to transfer it to a paper towel lined sheet tray. It says use a slotted spoon. I'm using tongs. Paper towel lined sheet tray. Please. Two tablespoons tomato paste. Probably one, two. Give this a stir and let that cook for a minute. So that was fun because of where I was holding, where I had the phone position. The phone got so hot it shut off. I had to cool it off. Threw it in the freezer for a minute. Tomato paste, veggie. Combo has cooked for about two minutes. Add the beef back. Two and a half tablespoons of flour. And mix. Then we add the wine. We've got a stir. Scraping up all the little bits that are now stuck to the bottom. Then you add the two cups of veal stock. Give it a stir. I think we need more veal stock. 28 ounces of veal stock. Give it a stir, herb, pouch. That'll work right. We bring this to a boil, reduce it to a simmer, and let it go for two hours. An hour and 15 minutes has gone by. Darted the potatoes, stirred this a few times. It's got a little bit longer to go, and we are preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Potatoes are done. You rice them. Back into the pot. Take your cream mixture, cream, butter, strain out your solids. Now I need my phone because I have to read the fucking recipe. So, lost a bunch of footage. Don't know how it happened. What you don't see is everything that goes from Dutch oven ends up in a 9 by 13 baking dish. The riced potatoes go on top some cheese goes in the oven. When it comes out of the oven, this is what it looks like. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I, uh, it's been a while since I've made a video, so I'm relearning how to edit video, relearning how to shoot video. I've got new lighting coming in into our new kitchen. I'll give you a tour of that really soon. And We've got some plans to do a really special series that's 
kind of inspired by the anti-chef. I don't know if you've seen him or not. He's on TikTok and YouTube and everywhere else. So we're going to do that. See you next time.